Hello all the chess lovers, hope uh, all of you are great. In this video we are going to learn about an important concept that is how to use your postpone effectively. In this position it's uh, black to play, take a close look on this position. Black has uh, two passed pawns that is on uh, d4 and a7 that was a huge advantage for black. In this position we announce sources uh, that uh, how we can use our passed pawns effectively. This was a game played by Anand, so I would recommend everybody to pause the video and find the answer for this position. Now I will reveal it. The answer is uh, d3. You have a basic rule in the pawn ending position that is, you have to push your post pawns as far as possible. So this is a basic rule which you have should, which you should remember and uh, the other Headache for white is his bishop is pinned. So white should react more uh, precisely. Anyway, he couldn't um, survive from uh, black uh, attacks. So what are the best replace we will see now? If uh, white plays rook d2, then our job is quite easier. Rook b b1, we are attacking the bishop uh, twice while it is defended only once now uh, white adds a defender now we attack uh, the bishop again and we are threatened into queen our pawn so he has no other go other than giving up a piece for a pawn so this is a great advantage for us but uh, this is a very easy i mean let us see some other uh, possibilities which are available for uh, white now let us say white plays uh, rook to c3 now if uh, black plays uh, d2 this is even worse after uh, rook d3 d into c1 queens rook into c1 rook into c1 this time we are up and rook and the knight for uh, nothing so this is even worse and uh, what if rook c check this is a most uh, challenging replay you should not take um, rook into c8 that is a mistake i recommend uh, again to calculate uh, the full variation so after this rook into c8 rook into c8 king f7 now uh, we can release the king from the pin against the bishop so King f2, rook a2 check, then uh, king e3, black can't uh, make any progress with this d3 prone. So, this is uh, not really a uh, draw for white, but uh, this toughens black's job uh, as <coughs> black can win some material, but uh, it is uh, not easier as the line that we are going to see now instead of uh, moving the king after rook into c8 after rook into c8 check the king f7 is right move so after rook c8 check uh, king f7 we are sacrificing the rook but we will soon realize the power of the pass pawn now taking rook into b8 directly doesn't help because uh, we are going to take the rook and uh, now also the king is in pin uh, there is a uh, no real way to defend this bishop so black is winning and uh, what if rook to c7 check this also uh, doesn't help uh, black sorry white uh, black can uh, defend with king g6 after king g6 rook into b8 is the only move and now also d2 now we are uh, threatening on two squares to queen this pawn which uh, black can white can't defend uh, at one move we can take uh, directly by d into c1 and queens after uh, rook into c1 rook into c1 we are upper piece and uh, if uh, white plays like this, we will be queening directly. This is also an um, 
when we are uh, far ahead in material so hope uh, all have learned how to use your postpone effectively thank you for watching this video if you didn't subscribe our channel please do subscribe your each subscription will be in great motivation for me to do many videos like this thank you for watching again and take care